Hello and welcome everybody to Stranger Objects YouTube channel. My name is David Samuel Drayton and I welcome you to the show. In this very first episode of Cinema 4D to Blender 3D or C4D to B3D, I want to talk a little bit about why I have chosen Blender as my other tool to work within 3D. I think there are several reasons why one would learn Blender, but I have specific topics I want to address with learning Blender. Number one. I wanted to be independent. Independency as a 3D generalist is very important to me. I can use Blender for any artwork I want without having to spend a cent on it. You download it, keep it, and you have it forever. That's pretty awesome if you ask me. Number two. Blender did a whole lot right within the last 2.8 releases. The UI and the general workflow became much more accessible to users who come from other packages such as Cinema 4D or 3ds Max. It feels so much more significant than it did in the past and that's something very awesome. Number 3. I'm a terrible, curious and inquisitive person. Software, especially 3D software and everything that has to do with CGI fascinate me. For the last 20 years I've been working with various tools plugins and applications, but it was always just a hand of applications that I adapted. Blender was one of them. Number 4. I always wanted to learn Blender, but before 2.8 I just couldn't wrap my head around it. Too many things have been out of place, workflow wise, and too many non-logical UI decisions gave me the pain, well I think you know which pain. But I was always fascinated by how consistent Blender has evolved over the years, and that really impressed me. Number 5. The community within the Blender Wars is excellent. It's fantastic and generous as the Cinema 4D community. Everyone is helpful and will give advice, hints and tricks whenever they can. This is especially useful when you start with B3D and have specific questions. I came across a lot of very cool Blender artists and I don't want to miss out on their content anymore. Number 6. The Blender universe is still up for exploration. It feels like there is something new every week. May it be add-ons, tutorials or a Blender update by Pablo Dobaro. It all still feels so nice after pioneer times. Number 7. The ecosystem in Blender is vast. There are a lot of, well, not so cool stuff. You can spend your cash, but there's a gazillion awesome add-ons training and content for free and paid that you can get. I will do a new video on my top 10 Blender add-ons in the next week. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe and take the notification icon to not miss out on those. Number 8. After you feel comfortable with Blender, you will have some hard times to accept the fact that it's doing a whole lot better than other commercial packages. I'm a huge fan of the shortcuts. The modeling process in B3D feels so much more natural as in C4D. The only drawback is its undo history. It's insanely slow. Other than And with this last one I'll wrap up this video. So if you want to learn Blender 3D, make sure to stay around this channel, especially if you're a Cinema 4D artist. I'll cover the most frustrating and painful moments. I'll cover the most frustrating painful moments I had at least muscle memory wise, in future videos. I hope you enjoyed this episode of C4D to B3D and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, stay home.